El Barrel Racing Battle racing or barrel racing is a sport in which rider and horse try to complete a cloverleaf pattern. The binomial has to turn around the three barrels that form a triangle and run out of the third barrel at full speed in a straight line. The one who makes the best time and does not knock over any barrel is the one who wins the competition. The rider's time varies since it depends on the physical and mental condition of the horse as well as the skills of the rider. Estas carreras de barriles requieren... These barrel races require both of them to compete as one, with the bond established between them being crucial. Una de las de es la one of the characteristics of barrels is speed. You have to have a fast horse to be among the first. The second is that you have a connection with your horse because many times they can give you a good horse. But if you don't dare to let it go, you won't do anything on the track either. So that goes for both rider and horse. The agility that the animal also has while turning and I repeat the speed. When he leaves the third tank, that is where the horse has to demonstrate that he is really pushing in order to be among the first. Competition more than anything consists of being in tune with your horse. En que en verdad somos uno solo en la pista. Tenemos que enfocarnos. That we are truly one on the track. We have to focus, concentrate on taking the first barrel, then the second, turning to the third and going to the end. Ir hasta el final. Y en eso aplicamos todo lo aprendido en nuestras prácticas. In that we apply everything we learned in our practices, in speed, techniques when turning, when sitting, all those details are what we practiced before. You have to be disciplined if you want to win, if you want to be in the first places, you have to have a lot of strength, a lot of character because you work with large animals. Grandes animales con mucha potencia with a lot of power, and I think it has helped me a little to finish building my character. Mi character. My name is Rocío Tribaldos. I practice this discipline since 10 years. My name is Rocio Tribaldos. I have practiced this discipline since I was 10 years old. I inherited my passion for horses and barrels from my father. I have been practicing it since I was approximately 12 years old and now 20 years later I practice it with my daughter. In my family, everyone is very happy that we continue this tradition, at least the sport with horses, because previously my family had also liked horses, but they were more for riding. We have taken this discipline further than be just a horse farm for riding. Hello, my name is Susan Francesci, barrel and pole racer from the province of Chiriki. Relatively recently, she practiced the barrel and pole discipline, approximately six years ago. Toda la vida he tenido amor por los caballos. Mi papá. I have had a love for horses all my life. My dad was a great trainer from the province of Chiriki and one of the barrel hikers many years ago. Incursionistas de los barriles eh, hace muchos años, pero de pequeña no no ejercí el deporte. But when I was little, I did not practice the sport until recently. I got into it. The opportunity to start competing. The love for horses has always existed, but that is where the love for the sport was born. Entonces, en el momento que mi papá se retira. The moment my dad retired from training, he gave me a mare and I thought it was my opportunity to start training. And I said, well, if she is good at it, I can try it. And I started training with Professor Heriberto and I haven't stopped there so far. I'm still with the same mare. My name is Heriberto Navarro. My name is Eriberto Navarro. I have been into horses since I was a child. It is my passion. It is the only sport I do. We started with my sister's training and my dad who was always supporting us. Around 95 we started. My sisters entered what is Los Amazonas. 
Y yo en sí empecé en el 2000 a competir en lo que es barriles. Y de ser entrenador... Como... And I started in 2000 to compete in what is barrels and to be a coach as such in 2012. I had the opportunity to go to Brazil, in one of the largest ranches in this country. I was learning techniques to improve here in Panama what the barrels in question are in the competitions. En la cuestión de las competencias. Desde que inicié lo vi en una competencia hace seis años. Since I started, I saw him in a competition six years ago. He had his Team Navarro group, and I asked him if he trained. I was still like in my first competition or trying. From there I started training with him, and until now we have continued learning six years later. Hemos seguido seis años después aprendiendo. Ella es Oklahoma. Es la yegua que uso en las competencias. She is Oklahoma. She is the mare I use in competitions. She is quite nervous. She is an agile and intelligent little mare. Many times, I am the one who gets the most nervous. When she goes to the court she really gives everything. She guides me and I feel like we are one when we are on the court. I think the best age for a horse to develop its potential is seven to nine years old. The Oklahoma breed is Palomino. I acquired her here from our store. We have her father's name is Palomo. He is a pimp that we have here on the farm. Ahora eh, se han estado implementando mucho eh, lo que son caballos que vienen especialmente. De... Now they have been implementing a lot of horses that come especially from the barrel line in Panama has brought many imported ones as well as semen that has been put into national maras that we have here and that are very docile for the discipline because in itself barrels are speed. So in the long run if you are not careful the horse will go crazy. Many horses, when they do not know how to train them, do not want to enter the track and that also depends on the character of the horse and the breed or pedigree it brings. Understanding this, like parents, grandparents, all that comes and entails. You have to have horses that have good pedigree. Tyson is a champion horse. He is from the club trained by Professor Heriberto Navarro. He is a polo champion horse, many times in the province with other runners. It is also a very noble and docile horse but fast on the track when it comes to polo. He is a pole specialist, although he competes in barrels, his love for poles when you see him run is unique. As a trainer, teaching horses what turning is, going little by little, first walking, then trotting and galloping. More or less that takes me two months to train a horse to take it to the first competition. In the same way, he taught people what it is to ride and how to do the barrel discipline, the techniques of at least entering with the right hand, then changing the left hand, both in the second and third tank, looking ahead or these are techniques that help you a lot to be agile in the sport. My day begins first of all by thanking God. I like to meditate before starting any activity I do and once I meditate I get up. I look for my daughter. We get ready. We head here to the ranch to fix our steeds and if it is possible, if we feel them a little nervous we also take them around the area to reduce tension, then we start to fix them. When I say groom the steeds, it means bathing them, giving them all the treatments because I do like to give them a special treatment for the mare's white hair, and also checking that everything is fine, the horseshoes, the equipment we are going to use, everything. The saddle we use on barrels is totally different from the dairy saddle. It is a little lighter. 
The grip on the head of the saddles is also longer so that one can have better support when turning. We arrive at 6 in the morning to feed the horse because it is very important that he eats at the correct time. We give him a quarter of a bale. He eats 4 pounds of feed in the morning and 4 pounds of feed in the afternoon. Food is very important. You have to be well nourished like an athlete so that you can perform well when running on the track. A good food that has good proteins as well as hay that is dry and balanced so that the horse is in optimal condition. It's the same as how an athlete prepares to go to the gym. This is a gel, the concentrate that is given is given 4 pounds in the morning and 4 pounds in the afternoon. It is also very important that the water is clean, there is a saying that says, where the horse drinks water, one can also drink water, because the horse always drinks clean water. Here we wait more or less 30 minutes for them to eat and drink water and then go to bathe them. I've been here since 89, bathing these horses that are going to the barrel competition. First, give them food, grass, bathe them, comb their hair, keep up to date with them so that they stay well-groomed and clean. Taking care of them and at the same time one enjoys using them, both for work and for activities. I am rinsing her a little and then putting the shampoo to scrub her. It is customary to bathe her daily before the competition, but even if they do not go to the competition, they always bathe to maintain them. My daughter is currently in this discipline, and I have a cousin who is also starting. For me it is important to involve my daughter because it instilled in her a love for animals. It is an activity that we do mostly as a family too, between the two of us we worry, she for her horse, I for mine that if they are missing something, yes, they are fine, and there is like a connection. This is my daughter Isabella, she is 12 years old, apart from the barrels she practices surfing, she is a very active girl. Their mare Shakira is a quarter horse by Padre Pinto, she is a docile mare that when the two of them met it was truly love at first sight. Shakira tiene cinco años. Mañana yo espero que me vaya bien. Shakira is five years old. Tomorrow I hope that things go well and that the truth is that nothing bad happens, that everything flows well. I have always liked to challenge myself like this and I really like animals. I started with horses and I would like to continue doing this competition thing. The truth is I set my alarm, but almost always my mother wakes me up and after that, we get dressed and come to the ranch, we fix the horses and we go to compete. <laughs>
En sus orígenes, el barrel racing. En its origins, barrel racing was created for women while men competed in bull riding, colt riding, or calf lassoing events. O tiraban el lazo a los terneros. Las primeras competiciones se dieron en Texas. The first competitions took place in Texas, United States, although barrel competitions had been practiced long before. The tests were held within the National Association of Amazonas, an entity created in 1999. Initially, only women could participate. Currently, men also take part in this sport. En este deporte. La escuela la creé en el 2012, en mayo del 2012. I created the school in May 2012. I first started with three students, then they grew and now I have almost 20 students. Pero los agarro por, por edad. También. I took them by age, so that they do not exceed five students because I need them to see and correct them because many times the student is the one who damages the horse. Eh, el alumno es el que daña el caballo. Entonces me toca... Then it's my turn to correct the horse and correct the student. Here we are like a family. I have met many people through it, and we always travel together. We have friendships together. We have been through many things over time and made friends like a family. Here we all care about everyone. When we go out, we try to ensure comfort for everyone and the horses of each of us too. So yes, it is a family sport, and we have made a family in this sport. On March 15th, 2000, the National Barrel Horse Association of Panama and BHAP was formed, a dream long for by many sports lovers in this country, and which in a short time has obtained recognition and awards in international competitions. Contando con la participación de competidores with the participation of female and male competitors of all ages, as the sport of barrels is practiced worldwide. We have three regions at the national level. There is Panama. There is the central provinces and Chiriqui. We have regional competitions which require us to reach the final. Para poder llegar a la final. Eh, la final la tenemos en la ciudad de Panama. This last competition, We have it in Panama City where everyone will be. We are like 150 competitors in three categories. Children's category that goes from 0 to 12 years old. Youth that goes from 13 to 18 and the open category that enter there of all ages. La competencia de mañana es ya la... Tomorrow's competition is the last one we have of the season here in Chiriqui, to be able to collect what the points are and what Pandeports demands of us. It is an equal competition with the three categories and what will be demonstrated there is the speed and agility that the rider has when entering the track with the horse. There is a new mare that I am using, and I hope that I do well with her so that I can do the course cleanly, and if possible win. When I manage to connect with the horse and make good runs and good times, it is fascinating to feel that satisfaction at the end of the race, to know that you have that connection and you are not fighting with the horse, but rather that both flow on the track. My greatest satisfaction in this barrel sport is that I have had the opportunity to represent Panama, as well as meet people from different countries. I have friends in Brazil, Spain, China. Although I don't speak English very well, I have communicated quite well with them and that has also helped me a lot personally. In addition, to acquire techniques to be able to offer them here in Panama. These competences are very strong and have now been further developed, having a better rise in the province of David. For this type of competition, 
We prepare them a week before. I keep them here in this block or the other so that they don't eat as much and are not so full when it comes time to use it. This competition is not risky, as long as you do everything with love and safety. In the future I hope that many mothers like me also instill in their children the love for animals, the love for this barrel practice and competing as a family. En familia, en mi caso, madre e hija, en verdad es algo súper emocionante. Algún día esperaría... En mi caso, mother and daughter, it is really something super exciting. One day I would hope to compete with my daughter abroad in another country. I hope to continue growing in sport. I have been growing little by little, but there is still a long way to go. And as an athlete, you always set goals and want to grow. My daughter competes in the piggy category, which is a children's category. Eh, y ya tiene el amor por los caballos también. And she already has a love for horses as well, like my other two children. The sport of barrels is a family sport, very beautiful. If it is for boys and girls, I feel that it helps them a lot to build their character, to be disciplined as well. A ser disciplinados también, como ya te dije anteriormente, manejar un caballo. As I told you before, handling a 1,000 pound horse requires a certain character, and I feel that I highly recommend it for children. Horses are very therapeutic and will really help you. It is a beautiful sport and worth it. I invite you to participate in this sport that is very beautiful. It is family friendly. It is also very attractive because children are very attracted to it, and seeing four-year-old children on a huge horse is very nice, and it also teaches them that they have to take care of horses.